Okay, in this video, I want to talk about how to program the Eaton Pico PLC from the screen. And we'll just add a simple program in here to show you how it works. So the first thing we need to do is, this is in run mode, and you can't program when you're in run mode. So we need to go into stop mode there, and you just hit OK. Hit OK one more time. Push up to yes. This will bring you back. You see the check mark there. And then you hit OK again. Then you hit Escape. You're back in the main screen, and you can see that this says Stop. Okay, so once the Stop button is activated, then we can put a program in here. So I'm going to hit OK, and I'm going to push the Down button until I get to the program. Then I select OK here. Circuit Diagram, I select OK. Now, what I want to do is begin to input the program. So here, I'm going to select OK, and that drops an input in here. This is a zero, I001, which relates to the input that is wired to. And I'm just going to use that one. I'm going to select OK here. If I wanted to change which input I was programming, I could select the up or down button, and this one has six uh, discrete inputs, so I could select whichever one I want. I'm going to hit OK here. So now that the input is selected in here, then we need to scroll over as far as we can. And if you go one too far, it'll go to the next line. So just go back to there, select OK, and then the Q will pop up, letting you know, hey, this is your output. Your cue is flashing. You can change that to memory and a couple other uh, options that they have, but we're going to keep it on cue because uh, we want our Q1 to activate. If I select OK, I can change which output I'm activating. This one has four wired up. So I'll just select one here and I'll hit OK. Now to connect the input to the output, I'll hit the alternate button, the alt button, hit OK, and then I will draw over to the Q, and then I'll hit OK, and now I can actually slide over, and now I know, now I know that my output and my input are tied together, so I'll hit OK. Now I'm going to hit Escape. I want to save the changes, I'll hit escape again, escape again. I want to put this into run mode. Escape one more time. Now, when I activate the input here, you can see input one is going true, Q1 is going true. And that's just a quick introduction to how you create a program on the Eaton's HMI the Eaton Pico PLC's HMI. All right, well, I hope this uh, video helps you out.